Captain Don Stangl killed in action over Germany. Mrs. Catherine M. Stangl of the Kathleenette Road has been notified by the War Department that her husband Captain Donald M. Stangl was killed in action over Germany December 23, 1944. He had previously been listed as missing over Germany. Captain Donald Stangl is survived by his wife, and 14-month-old daughter Patty Bess, his parents Mr. and Mrs. Maurice Stangl, and the following brothers, and sisters, John. Kurt. Art, Fred of Vincennes, Joe Stangle of Denver, Colorado, Mrs. Joe A. Keatley of Evansville, Mrs. Earl Menderman of Lawrenceville, Marie Stangle, cadet nurse, and Clara Stangle of Vincennes. His wife the former Catherine M. Marsh, resides with her parents Mr. and Mrs. J. W. Marsh. Captain Donald Stangle enlisted in West Point, New York, West Point is the oldest continuously occupied military post in the United States. Located on the Hudson River in New York. Entered West Point Military Academy, commissioned January 1943, Captain Stangle was a bomber pilot. Assigned to 598 Bomber Squadron, 397 Bomber Group, 9th Air Force United States Army Air Force. 55 Combat Missions. Failed to return from mission, the mission to bomb Eller Railroad Bridge, their plane was hit by enemy fighters, Lil Jan the nickname for their plane, rolled onto its back, split into two pieces and, crashed near Odrath, Germany. December 23, 1944. Killed in action. Captain Stangle's crew members were as follows, 2nd Lieutenant, Co-Pilot, Gordon H. Wenborg 20 years old, of Minneapolis, Minnesota, 1st Lieutenant Bombardier, Arthur E. Coyne, 1st Lieutenant, Bomber Pilot, Norman S. Skurrer, Tech Sergeant, Radio Operator, Harold W. Perkins, Sergeant Flight Engineer, Joseph W. Hegener, Sergeant, Armorer, Gunner James H. Hoots, Sergeant, G. Operator, Robert D. Williams. Their plane, serial number 4334221, nicknamed Lil Jan, a Martin B-26 G-5 Ma Marauder, Flown from A-72, Perrin Airfield, 121 miles, north of Paris, France. The airport was built before World War II, mission, bomb targets of opportunity. The 397th received a distinguished unit citation for a mission on December 23, 1944, when the group withstood heavy flak, and fighter attack, to sever a railway bridge at Eller, a vital link in the enemy's supply line across the Moselle. Medium bombardment aircraft were out in strength, striking important communication zones directly behind the German onslaught. On this day, the mission to the Eller Railroad Bridge in Germany, the group suffered its first major losses by enemy aircraft, and anti-aircraft. After the turn off from target, on course to home base, approximately 25 single-engine fighters attacked our formation. The group's records show a loss of 8 B-26S to enemy aircraft encounters and 2 B-26S to heavy flak. Our gunners hit back for a total tally of 4 enemy aircraft destroyed, 3 enemy aircraft probably destroyed, and 8 enemy aircraft damaged. This total does not include enemy aircraft presumably destroyed or damaged by the 10 missing bombers. Captain Don Stangle earned the following awards, Air Medal with 11 Oak Leaf Clusters, two silver one bronze, and a purple heart. Captain Stangle is buried in the Luxembourg American Cemetery, and memorial it's three miles outside Luxembourg city center. The cemetery holds the remains of 5,076 military dead, many who fell in the Rhine advance in autumn 1944, and the Battle of the Bulge, December 1944 January 1945. Another 371 names of missing servicemen are commemorated over two pylons. A chapel honors the deceased and a museum, and maps outline the course of the American campaign throughout the world. A temporary cemetery had been established in December 1944, whilst the Battle of the Bulge was still ongoing. The area had been previously liberated by the 5th Armored Division in September 1944. The United States was granted permanent use of the site following the war, 
by the Grand Ducal Government of Luxembourg. The American Graves Registration Service oversaw the reinterment of remains from nearby temporary cemeteries to Luxembourg. The American Battle Monuments Commission, who still administer the cemetery oversaw the design by Keel Lee and Patterson and landscaping by Alfred Gifford Jr. The cemetery was dedicated in 1960. 1946 Captain Stangle was memorialized, in Mount Calvary Cemetery, Vincennes, Knox County, Indiana, USA.